Wait for you to give birth to my son, eh? I am really thinking of what name to give him. Mm. Emeka or Nken Junior. Or mm. We even just give him Ikechuku. <laughs> where, where did Ikechuku come from? Power of God now. Uh -huh. eh? see, see this boy? I will spoil him, see. <laughs> hey. Okay, mm. this obsession you have about <sighs> male children or this pregnancy being a uh. male child. Are you God? I'm not eh? God. What if it's a female? Hey. Mm, don't even say it's like that now. Why are you trying to put the curse on my innocent child? Ah. Eh? No, 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 God forbid. What do you mean, God forbid? He's my son. <laughs> it's a girl child, not a, a child. Oh, Was eh? I not a girl child? Uh, for some people. But for me, my own is a boy. All I know I have inside me is male genes. So, <laughs> yeah, that is what I gave you in turn. <laughs> eh? I want to come and use joke and turn this thing to blues. My husband, why are you sounding yeah. like I didn't need you? Believe it. Eh? What has Jesus got to do with it? Okay. Don't you know that? Where is that video? <laughs> don't trust my boy. Just relax. Is it okay? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Let me educate you. Uh, this husband of mine. Okay, my mm -hmm. husband. Mm -hmm. You, as a man, you have the X and Y chromosome. Mm -hmm. What that means is, it is whatever you put inside of me mm -hmm. that I will bring out. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So you have nothing to do with, <laughs> with genes. Uh, so since you want to start talking like computer, oh. have you not heard of garbage in, garbage out? Which means what I put in is uh. what you give me. What I put inside here uh. is boy. You saw what, it. What you give me is boy. Did you see it when you If you it? give me girl, uh, <laughs> I give my one. <laughs> because what I put inside is a boy. Did eh? you see the way you did you see did uh, you see it when you're putting inside? Did you see there was a boy? I did not saw nothing. <laughs> yeah, but let me just tell you <laughs> that the only thing that is welcome in this house is for you. Because if you bring girl inside here, <laughs> I will not accept her in my house. Eh? <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? Home truth. That, that is what it is. Home truth. Eh? You just take care of my son and bring him out the way I give him to you. Eh? Okay. It's boy. Okay. okay. Eh? I don't want to play again. Okay. So maybe you need to rest or maybe can't. I don't want to rest. You're sure? I want to go to the panel. This is your talk. <clears throat> Whatever you're doing, don't hurt my son. My precious, precious food. Mm. You're so beautiful. Mm. Mommy loves you. I can see you're enjoying your baby. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Thank you. Your, your baby is cute. Thank I hope you're better now. Yes, I am. Just okay. still a bit weak. But... Oh, that's very nice. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. Please, um, where's my husband? Oh, he's with the doctor at the moment. Alright, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. You see, daddy's coming. Hmm? You wanna see daddy? Kelechi, you have been my friend for some time now. Look, there is no way on this earth that I'm having a girl in my house. It's not possible. <laughs> Look, Nkem, why are you sounding as if your wife gave birth to a snake instead of a human being? Huh? She's not responsible for the sex of a child. So I'm wondering why you're upset when you and Kem are the determiner. You see, from the way you are sounding, I'm beginning to suspect that you and my wife have been talking to each other. Because you are sounding exactly like her. 
instead of to sit down here and be offering me solutions on how I would I would avoid this rubbish. You're telling me this nonsense? Eh? What solutions for a child has already been born? Huh? Sometimes, sometimes the way people like you do think it keeps me wondering if you've seen the four walls of a school. Well, I don't care about what you are thinking right now or what you have to say. All I will say is I am not accepting a girl in my house, okay? So go and tell her that. That look. Did anything happen to Kara and the baby? Unfortunately. Unfortunately, nothing happened to Caro and the baby. It is me that something happened to. Look, can you imagine that Caro went to go and give them to a baby girl? For what now? Eh? For what? I I don't understand. What are you talking about? How can Caro carry her full self like this now and go and give it to a baby girl? Baby girl, for what? What lies baby girl to do in my life? Will you tell me now? Who's the spell? What, what are you talking about? Is that why I'm ranting and trying to pull down this house? One day, I put in boy inside there, she bought out there. Is she mad? No, 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 no. Is she stupid? Eh? How can I put in boy as she knew here? What is wrong with her now? I'm asking for one boy. What is so hard to ask for one boy as she gave me here? Wait, wait, wait. Just calm down. Is that why you are this furious? I, 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 I forgot I'm even talking to an idiot. Huh? Because you have never proven yourself to be a man in any context. So that's why you can make stupid comments like this. I don't blame you, but let me just tell you something. Huh? And every other person that's advising her, I will never, ever, ever accept a girl in this house. Do you understand? So go and advise her. Eh? Carry the girl, put it back and permit it. Nonsense. Send the nurses to come check her temperature later. Okay. Uh, where is it came? The nurse came in and said that he was with you. Oh, yes, he was. Oh, he left hours ago. He left? Yes. He left without a word? That's strange. <laughs> strange is a word your husband is accustomed to. Uh, but not to worry, I'm sure. I'm sure he went to, you know, face something very important. But I'm sure he'll be back. Hey. Baby. All right, I'll, I'll check on you guys later. Thank you, doctor. Yeah, thank you. You see, mm. some men can be so annoying. Mm. You see me, I'm here. Begging God for the fruit of the womb. Mm. And God has blessed your brother with a baby girl. And he is still complaining. Is he God? My brother and mama, they have the same mentality, but then, man. Hmm. I never knew he was going to take it this far with a girl child. <clears throat> Crazy. Interesting. So, are you saying that if I'm blessed with a female child, mm. I'll face same challenges from your mother? <laughs> My dear, that's basic. <laughs> but trust me, as your husband, I'm here to defend you any day, any time from my mom. So, Papeki, please, mm. I don't need you to defend me. Wait now, let God bless me first. Let your mother come and fight me. <laughs> <laughs> she won't believe what I will say to her. Mm. Oh, she won't believe it. You know, your tongue is as sharp 
as my mom's. So let's just wait. Oh yeah now. Till then. <laughs> I wonder why bad luck has decided to visit me. First, Elena refuses to get pregnant. And then this one here. She has done worse by giving us liabilities as children. God, what have I done? Eh? What have we done? Mama, my child is not a liability. So, what would you call a girl child? If not liability. Hmm? You tell me now, is that child in any way productive to us, if not waste of space? That's why you abandoned us at the hospital, right? Oh, you expected him to come and visit that disappointment? Eh? Hey! After all the love, after all the caring for nine months, look, look at what you gave us. You gave us shame. Carol, what have we done to you? What have we done? Huh? You know, I would be disappointed to hear a woman talk like this about a girl child. But coming from you, Mama, I'm not surprised. Thank you, my darling husband. Come on, you share the purpose. So. <laughs> Hey, what have I done? She never came now. Some people, their daughter in law will give them nine boys. Let me know Mama, Mama Kelechi. Nine boys. Can I sleep in my house? Come on now, come on. She's just a baby. Babies cry. It's normal. Babies do not cry. It's not normal. It is only crying because of it is a, it is a, a she. That is all. Okay. Okay, please. I'm begging you for the love of God and peace. Do not ever refer to my child as, a, as an it. If you want to sleep like a man without a child, that's fine. After all, there are several rooms in this house. She's carrying her away. Somebody will just turn deaf before early morning now. Uh, sleep. Sleep. morning. Good morning, ma. What is good about this morning? What is good about this morning that you abandoned everything to sit down there to take care of what I don't even know of? Mama. Instead of making food for the family. What is it now? If I remember clearly, the purpose of this your visit is for Mugo. But what have you decided to do for me? Nothing. Why? Because you and your son have ideas about my child. That's okay. But I think the least you can do is to cook for this family that you love so much. Make check on Make check on Do you realize that you're talking to me, your mother-in-law? Eh? I demand respect for you. You should respect me. Mama, respect is not demanded. It is earned. If you want people to respect you, then you, you should respect them as well. And what is it? She's my number one priority, so all of you have to get used to that. Please. I should get used to this, this bad luck. Eh? This girl child that you brought into this family, I cannot get used to it. No okay, Namia, is my child. Let me tell you, if you want peace in this house, Carol, if you want peace in this house, you had better go into the kitchen and make breakfast for this house. Okay, Namia, want me to get used to this bad thing? No, oh, yeah. she sleeps, I will cook. Until then, I can't do anything. Please. Gorgeous. 
She has your nose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she has your daddy's eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, that's for sure. Mm, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, guys, honestly, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. If Inkem was the only one involved in this madness, maybe I would have a little faith. But with Mama involved, I don't even know what to think. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not surprising. Mother and Inkem have always, you know, shared the same thoughts and views. And, but I really can't believe that they have to take this too far. <laughs> well, they should just be happy that you've given birth, really. <laughs> but I, I don't understand, though. If they see you like this because of a girl child, then I wonder how they would see me, who is still without a child. Um, it's, it's terrible, you know. I don't know why a woman would get upset that her fellow woman, you know, is having a baby girl. It's, it's, it's amazing, man. Since when has it become an abomination? That is a question you should ask your mom and brother. I, they would have a perfect answer for you. <laughs> Birds of a feather. Where is she? Where is mother? In her room, I guess. So you suddenly realize that I live in this house. Mom, please don't start. Don't start to what? Eh, Chidi, you've been in this house for the past 30 minutes with your wife. You now remember that your mother also lives in this house. But you know there's no way we will come here and we will not see you now. You know it's not possible. Why are you sounding like this? Really? So why have you come to see me? I guess that stupid woman sent you to me, isn't it? And if by stupid woman you mean Carol, no. She did not send me to you. I came here on my own. Besides, why would Carol want to send me to you now? Really? So, if you're here to beat about the bush, I am not interested. Okay, I'm, I'm not interested. I'm also not interested to beat about the bush because I know you know the reason why I'm here. So I'll make it snappy. Meaning? See, Mom, Carol has done nothing in having a baby girl. All right? In fact, she has done this family a good thing. We should be thankful to her. We should be grateful. Mr. No Ito. So tell me more about it. Mother, you should know. I shouldn't be telling you these things. Mm. You have two boys, two grown up men. Exactly. I have boys because God in heaven knows that I am never a fan of girls. So why should Carol stoop so low to ask God to give her a girl child? Why should she give me a girl child for a grandchild? Why? You know what, Mom? You and Inkem are very impossible people. And I'm done arguing. I don't think it makes any sense for me to stand before you and be saying all of those things. All right? I mean, is Carol God that gives children? Eh? Is she the one that will determine the sexes of the children? Chukwe Abiyama is not a partial God. He's not partial. He will only give you what you ask for. So why should my daughter-in-law give me a girl for a grandchild, knowing fully well that I'm not a fan of girls? Eh? That girl is so stupid. You know what? Just say about her, go away. Go back, no, say my poor people. Say my poor. Hmm. Very stupid girl. Hey? Why would she, she give us a, 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 a girl for a grandchild? my mom over for Mugo. She should be here soon. How dare you? How dare you invite your mother without asking for her permission first? Carol. What do you mean by you invited your mother for Mugo? So 
So what used my mother being here then? My darling husband, maybe you should ask her. Because ever since I got back from the hospital, she has not as much as touched my child. Not to talk of helping out with the household chores. I can't force anybody to take care of my child because the truth is I, I, I don't even know that I'll be comfortable with my mother looking over my child or looking after my child. And what do you mean by that? You mean I'm going to harm your child? Mama, what? wouldn't you? Well, I have just one thing to say. Carol, if my mother cannot take care of your child for you, then do it yourself. Exactly. Because your mother has no business in this house. At all. She's no. not coming here. That is something I have decided not to do. It's too much. It's too, it's too much for one person to do. I ca cannot take care of the baby and, 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 and do the chores all by myself. It, 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 I, I mean, it's too much. I can't kill myself. I've already contacted mom and she's on her way. She'll be here soon. Young woman, your mother will not stay in this house. Queen Amir. She won't stay here. Well, mama, this is my house. And only I have the right to say who stays or who leaves. You need to be careful because at the end of the day, you might just be the one living. What? My child is crying. Um, that's the point of replying now. She's, she's obviously joking. She had better be joking. She had better be joking. What are you doing here, woman? Oh, Obi, how are you? You never change. Anyway, I came for a mogul. Mm. It's every mother's dream to come for a mogul, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's only a foolish woman like you that will come for a mogul when her daughter reproduces a girl child. And it is only a woman without senses such as you who will forget that even she was once a girl child. what you've been going through in this house. I thank God, Mom, that you are here to see everything. Because I'm sure when I told you about the phone, you would have thought I was exaggerating. Well, this has got to stop. Obi cannot be treating my only daughter like she's a slave in her husband's house. Huh? If war is what she wants, I came prepared. No, no, no. She must leave. She must leave. It's not head off now. Eh? You are the man of the house. Therefore, anything you say should be law. If your wife cannot respect you enough to listen to you, then I'll make her listen. Oh, yeah, nah. Mama, Carol has never behaved like this before. I mean, she practically used to seek my, my permission to use the restroom before. 
But since this child came, <laughs> Carol is now a stranger in my own house. She has now put the child before me. Zenia, and that is because that child is evil. That is the only way she can bring bitterness into our lives. Mama, something has to be done and very fast too. Hmm. Because if we continue this way, Carol will begin to feel like she runs this house and I would not have that. Do you know something? Handle your wife while I handle her mother. She must leave. She must leave. Come here. It is time now for the skinny and a big fear that is feared by all of us who work on camera. It happened yesterday live on CNN. Some frightening moments played out for anchor Poppy Harlow, who's six months pregnant, by the way. She apparently fainted while reporting on a story about America's war on ISIS. Bad news for the Obama administration. Uh, we have this new CNN OR, Steve Cole, which hmm. is quite... I can see that some people have no shame. No shame at all. And it's obvious you're one of them. But this is not the time for me to buy you dignity. This is the time for you to go in there, pack your things and leave. Leave because my son and I do not subscribe to you staying in our house. Shame? If shame is what we're talking about, you should have truckloads of it. Anyway, if your son wants me out of this house, he should stand in front of me, look me in the eye and tell me so. You and that is made. Your daughter disgraced herself by giving birth to a girl. You should at least try and save whatever that is left of our nakedness and, and just go. Go, woman, go. There is no omugwa. Your daughter gave birth to a girl, no omugwa for you. I have as much right to be here as you do. This house belongs to my daughter and your son. And I am here for omugwa. What exactly are you here for if not to keep being a nuisance? Anyway. I am not here to batter words with you. Just, just go. I give you five hours. Oh, oh what, Obi? You know what? If you want me to leave this house, I will leave it. But not before I drag you by the hair out the door with me. Tami Chegon is I have no such rights. This is my son's house. He's a man that owns the house. Go to your house, woman. Neither do you. Now stay out of my business, or I will give you the trouble you're angling for. Honey, that yeah. reminds me, um, how you said her mom came around? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. When? Yesterday. Hmm. This is not good, trust me. <laughs> Why? Hmm. It means war. Uh-uh. Well, I know Carol's mom is not a troublesome person. Mm -hmm. Besides, I'm sure she won't spare your mother if she messes with her. That's for sure. That's why I'm saying it means war. <laughs> My mom is something else. Oh. Mm. I just thank God she doesn't come here. Otherwise, I could run around living up for this house. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> See, expo. So that's your plan, Abby? Mm. I don't have time for that woman's head, Echo. So. She's the strangest mom I know. Well, it's a good thing you're not like your brother. Else, <laughs> Carol, the learn walk. I don't use my eyes. See something. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. It's easier said. You can just assume from afar. But when trouble comes knocking on your door, you would have done so many things before you even react. Really? Yeah. Well, let us pray it doesn't come. Because trust me, me, I will react if I think. <laughs> Let's wait and see. Mom. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> so adorable. Oh, I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> she would do the blessing to the 
get so happy. God bless me with one that's gorgeous as you. Amen. Yeah. Shut up. Just, just listen to yourself. Just, just, just listen to yourself talk. Eh? He's not fit to pray like your mates for God to bless you. You're here asking for a cause. Iti kwa nyagi. Iti kwa nyagi. Abba, mama, how is this innocent child a curse? Listen here, I don't know why we came to this house. I've been avoiding coming to your place so that you don't get me more angry. But you always come here to tax my patience. You had better be careful. Okay, Amia, you had better be very, very careful with me. Mama, please, 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 oh. I only came here to visit Carol's mother and this innocent, gorgeous child. If that is a problem for you, I'm sorry, but I cannot stop it, oh. I cannot stop it, can't. Elena is also here to celebrate with us. When you celebrate with people who have something to celebrate, God gives you something. Ah, what are you celebrating? Eh? This, this misfortune. Is this misfortune worth celebrating? Abba, eh? Mama. Abba, now. Now, get up. Shut up and leave. Leave this place if you must stay your wet up. Stupid thing. Go, go, go. Go to your husband's house. No, yeah. Learn, yeah. This is what we to pray to God that God should bless you with a bouncing baby boy. You are coming here to celebrate this girl. Girl child. Learn, yeah. Learn, yeah. Mom, hey, what's going on, baby? Okay. You don't look it. Honestly, Mom, I never knew that my mother in law and my husband were this kind of people. Truly, I wouldn't have married him. Uh, yeah. That's a burden you have to bear. Sometimes people have to live with so much more in silence. Oh. Why? Why? It's not fair now. Is marriage supposed to be this hard? It shouldn't be a cross. If nothing, it should make life and living easier. I know. That's, that's, we all, that's what we all hope for. Hmm? That's what we all hope for. But every marriage has its own cross. Believe me, some people live with heavier crosses in silence than you're living with. Take Lena for instance. Your sister, you know. She's still begging for the fruit of the womb. Plus, she's got a mother-in-law like Obi taunting her. Plus, society to deal with. But at least she has a caring and understanding husband like Chidi. Yeah, that may be true. But we don't know how long he's going to be understanding for before he caves into pressure. Okay? So, what there is to it is this. This is your home. You have to guard it jealously. Uh, I'm here now. I'm gonna help with the baby and a few things so you can spend time with your husband. Doesn't take long before men start acting single. Look at me. This is your home. Guard it jealously. Okay? Marriage is for better, for worse. And you've got to be on your guard all the time. Okay? So hard. Hey, crack smile. Mama's here. Come on. Hey. Come on. It's gonna be all right. Uh. 
Herb. Mm. You haven't um, given me the results of the scan. Or didn't you uh, get the results? Uh, I, I did. I did. Okay. And? It's a girl. A baby girl. What? I don't know if you're not listening to me. You are going to go to the hospital. And you're going to abort that bastard you have inside you. Okay? And don't even say a word to me about that. Just do what I said and abort it. I'm leaving the office. Why are you this insensitive? <laughs> Look who is talking. Father of all insensitivities. You get your wife pregnant with a baby girl and you're here accusing her of being the problem. When in fact it is you. Look, Kilechi, I did not come here to argue with you. Rather, I came to talk to you as a friend. I, I need you to change the sex of that child. <laughs> As the god that I have become. Come on, you need to talk like an educated man that I know you as. And if this is the reason why you're waiting for me or trying to disturb me, please, I have patients out there waiting for me to tend to them. Thank you. Nonsense. You see, I, I don't really understand. Here I am begging God for even half a baby. And then my brother wants to get rid of the one that God has given to him on a platter of gold. I don't get this. Actually, I, I honestly, I don't know how I missed this. I don't know how I didn't see this coming. I thought, I thought it came was the best thing that happened to me, but now, now all I see is the imposter. All I see, how did I miss this? How? Harry, you need to calm down. Alright, I just want to know what your decision is on this matter. And I'm gonna help you everywhere I can. My decision is that of, a, of any sensible mother. Today I can't, so I can't kill my child. I, I can't kill my child simply because her father doesn't, doesn't approve of her sex. I can't. What kind of mother would that make me? I'm going to give her life. She's my child. She's, she's my child. I don't care what your brother thinks. I don't care about his stupid mentality. I don't care. It's okay. If that's what you've decided to do, I'm going to support you. Alright? It's okay. You don't need to cry. Thank you. Thank you, Chidi. Thank you so much. That's all right. Well, 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 if it isn't the ingrate himself. Elena, I beg your pardon. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you stupid or something? No, do I look like your husband that you can talk to anyhow? Oh, no, 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 no. I will never, never be caught dead dating you. But I won't because I believe he knows best. As he gave you who doesn't want and refuses to bless the likes of me. But it's fine. It's fine. Well, Elena, I think that should be a conversation that you should have with God directly. But I'll tell you something. This will be the last time you will ever insult me. Because if you ever, ever do that again, <laughs> you would cease to be a member of my family. <laughs> By running off to your mother, I guess, huh? Watch your mouth. Huh? You see, I'll tell you this, Carol is a strong woman. Because I wonder how she puts up with you. Honestly, how does she manage that? You see, Nkem, you make me sick! 
Look, look, look. I summon this meeting so that this girl here will know that she's just a wife and a daughter-in-law and not the head of this house. You all know that she disgracefully gave us a girl for a grandchild and now she's yet pregnant again with another girl. Well, this is my, uh, our decision. Carol, you will have to remove that thing, that girl in your stomach. You will not give birth to another girl in this family. Never. You have to remove it. And why is that? You know what? That is not going to happen. <laughs> Mom, it's fine, everyone. It's okay, Mom. It's okay. Mama has spoken. Now it's my turn to talk. Since these issues came up, I have said nothing. But I will speak now. So you all listen to me carefully. This child is mine and she is growing in my body whoever that wants to get rid of her must go through me meaning meaning if you want to kill my child you will have to kill me first now until that happens i do not want to hear any more talk about my child like she is a curse from anyone. Please. Uh, what is this? Um, just hold on now. I said I was going to talk to you. And this is very important. See, you're a man. All right, and you should not be allowing mother to tell you what to do in your own house. It's very wrong. So, are, are you advising I allow Carol continue in her stupidity? I don't like to repeat myself. All right, so I'm going to say this once and for all. A girl child is a child. All right, if you do not like her, her mother does. Don't ask her to go abort a baby. It's 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 wrong. You see, the only problem I have with everything you have said is that it's actually coming from a man who cannot get his wife pregnant. You know, anything will look like a child to you, even as a dog, a small bingo. Huh? Well, fix yourself. Thinking of having a baby. Thinking, but I don't, I don't, I don't understand. But we, we've been trying, Chidi. We have been trying. I know we've been trying, but if God doesn't want to give us ours, I, I think we should adopt. What? <laughs> At what? Adopt. What? I. 
you are you are you crazy? Are, are you are you okay? You you think I'm going to take you of another woman's child? No way! Is that how stupid you think I am? So what is wrong in adopting? Everything. Everything is wrong with adopting. You want the world to laugh at me that I can't bring my own child into this world. So you're now bothered about what the world will say? Yes. Yes, I am, Chidi. And if you're not worried about this, then why are you this bothered? Elena, adoption is the only option. No. No, it's not. No, it's... It, that is not an option. Chidi! Oh, Chidi, I'm serious. You are a woman and a mother just like myself. I know you love your son very much and I don't love my daughter any less. The constant troubles in this house is becoming disturbing. A presence here should help them solve problems, not add to it. Bien. Are you by chance insinuating that I came here to add to their trouble? Not at all. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that if they have problems, we should guide them to solve it, not further mislead them. Oh, very good. I quite agree with you. In that case, guide your daughter. Make her see reason why she should get rid of that, that girl in her stomach. That is, if she still wants to remain my son's wife and my daughter-in-law. <laughs> oh, P. You love your son very much. And I do not love my granddaughter or my daughter any less. Hmm. I will do anything in my power to protect them. Hmm. And nobody will hurt my grandchild as long as I'm here and I can do anything about it. You're talking as if uh, she's not supposed to be my granddaughter too. Great, then act like it. Mr. and Mrs. Obonna, <laughs> welcome. Thank you. So, Carol, how's the baby doing? Uh, she's kicking. <laughs> well, not for too long. What was that supposed to mean? Oh, yes, it means that we are here to flush it off her system. Excuse me? Yes. Okay, but you said you were following me for antenatal. Well, that's exactly what I did. Uh, doctor, I think um, antenatal is defined as before labor. So we are here to flush off the baby before labor, to avoid it from happening. Well, Mr. Kim, Bunna, that is not happening. It, it can't happen. I do not approve of it. Mr. Kim, for your information, she's right. That baby can't be aborted without her consent. Kilichi, 
you are supposed to be my friend, right? Yes. So why are you now talking like you are against me? Huh? Look, it's either you are for me or against me. So choose. You came for your information. I am for that innocent baby that you want to kill before meeting. But for your information, I am the father. And as the father, I have decided. Well, I am the mother and I have also decided. Nobody is going to hurt my child. No one. Okay. I will not talk much about this. All I will say is, I leave you with an option. Either you remove that bastard in your stomach, or you don't come back to the house. Do you understand? Do what is right and proceed with this abortion. <laughs> Everything will be fine, it's okay. The nerve of that husband of yours. They said all they have to say, now they have to listen to what we have to say. I know I've always asked you to fight for the peace and growth of your family. But if it will take the life of my grandchild for there to be peace, then this entire house might as well burn. Your father's house is still your house, and I will welcome you and the children with open arms. If they ask you to leave because you say no, then get ready because we are leaving. <laughs> She wants to keep the child. Good and fine, but she will have to leave our house. Oyama. Oh, don't worry about that. See, I know Carol very well. She'd rather get rid of that baby than leave this house. Mm. Yes. Uh, no problem, but um, in that case, we have to marry another wife. Another wife that will give us a son. Because that's what I want to. I just want a son for a grandchild. And I know I want that too. But don't worry, Carol would give me that son. Okay. Whether she likes it or not, mm -hmm. she has no choice on us. I know. That's why I love you so much. Because, I mean, you're a man. You're in control of your own. You're not like that's your, that's your, your weakling of a brother. Look, I mean, my sister, she is a girl. But I pay no attention to him. He has nothing to offer. Don't worry. I'll soon have his time. Trust me. Fine. So tomorrow we go and see the doctor so they can flush off this thing from your stomach. Who said anything about going to see a doctor to have an abortion? Well, you said you've made a decision. So, I mean, do you have any other plans or ways of getting an abortion if not going to the hospital? Okay. Huh? You know, it's obvious you don't know me. It's obvious that you are totally clueless about the kind of woman that I am. If you think that I will... If you think for a second that I will pick this... this idea of a marriage over the life of my child, then you are mistaken. I will not kill my child. Good thing you said your child.
Yeah, I I do not agree to Carol leaving the house. But on second thought, I think that's the best thing for everyone. Because the other day, when Mama spoke to me, I could only realize what she was going through. But don't you think you should adopt like your husband suggested? Mama, even you too. Mm. Oh. Okay, why should I take care of another woman's child? Because in the eyes of the law, when you adopt, the child is exactly like your own. Nobody can take the child from you. Yes, but that doesn't get rid of the fact that the child belongs to somebody else. If you continue with this attitude, you're never going to make yourself happy, you know? Besides which, there's something else I know about adopted children. They bring good fortune to the families that adopt them. It's not difficult. It's, it's, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. Because you want it to be. It's an amazing thing to do. And heaven will smile on you. Inkem, I want to talk to you. What is it? Inkem, you have done a lot of stupid things in your life. Some we just overlook. But letting Carol leave your house, what were you thinking? Well, mom thinks it's okay if she wants to. Who is married to Carol? Is it mother or you? What are you talking about? See, if you let that, that, that woman leave, all right, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. Well, she decided to leave. Yeah, that's because you made her choose between her unborn child and staying in this house. And every mother will do the same thing she's doing. For the first time in your life, do what your man tells you to do and not what mother tells you to do. What's wrong with you? You're a grown-up man now. You still have time, oh. You still have time to stop her. Use your head and come and save your marriage. and you're going to remain here. Okay. Why is that? Eh? She chose to leave that child, bought that, that girl in her stomach. It's her choice, so let her go. Mama, Carol is going nowhere. She's my wife and she remains in this house. And that is fine now.
Not to win the welcome for your husband? Huh? You will get more than that the day my girl stop being afraid of you and running at the slightest sound of your horn. Well, I'm just coming back from work. And I believe those girls are brilliant. Brilliant enough to know that their presence irritates me. And that's why they run upstairs. Maybe you should try and be brilliant. I didn't write in when next I come back from work. Greet me. That's the right thing to do. Okay? Is it because we're not boys? Where did you get that from? Mama told us. And Dad said the same thing. That if we were boys, his life would be better off. Well, listen girls. You know I love you. I love you all very much. I love you to the moon and back. And guess what? I love that you are girls and not boys. Are you sure? You don't believe me? We do. Don't go. Just plain stupid. Chidi, my brother, is just plain stupid. No, how dare he? How dare Chidi chase you out of his house because of that his stupid Umweke wife? But it happened. <laughs> hey! Chidi. Chidi. If anyone had told me that Chidi, my son, Chidi, my son, that I carried in my womb for nine months. Suckled him. If anyone had told me that Chidi would do something like this, I would have placed a curse on that person for thinking ill of my son. Chidi, Chidi chose his wife over Mwan Wenenya. Mama, 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 I eh? blame you for this one. Mama, I blame you because I told you not to go to Chidi's house for anything. Hey, this is your house, and you can stay here for as long as you want. But no, you decide to carry yourself and go to his house. So do what now? Now look at his stupid wife calling you all sorts of names. Eh? What rubbish is this now? Chidi, and as for that one that calls herself Elena, eh? I know where she is now. She'll be jubilating, thinking that she has collected my son from me. But that will not happen, no. Oh my man, she cannot win, never. Oh my man. I have told you times without number, and I will still say it again. That person that you call Chidi is not a son. That is a, your, 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 your daughter. He's a girl. Because how can you explain his inability to give a woman to, to, to get a, a woman pregnant? Eh? It's not his fault. It's that girl's fault. It's that, it's that girl. That stupid girl. Anyway. Nonsense. So, Brano, I know what to do. 
Well, let me go up to my Ma, room. Don't go to the house again. Okay. This is your house. Stay here for as long as you want. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Let me go off to my room. Okay, let me watch the news and I'll come and meet you. Been like this since your mother got back. Is it because of what she said she did it? Carol, from the sound of your question, you sound like you don't believe my mother is telling the truth. We both know your mother and brother. I don't think Chidi Chidi can't do a thing like that if your mother hadn't provoked him. Are you listening to yourself at all? You just called my mother a troublemaker. Is that far from the truth? Carol. You, you, you know what, sir? I'm sorry. I don't know what really happened, but all I'm saying is, I'm sure this, I mean, you and Chidi can talk about this and iron things out. Shouldn't be that serious. Uh, meanwhile, the kids, their school fees need to be paid at least by tomorrow. Else they'll be sent home from school. I had been telling you this even before the term started, but you anyway the deadline is tomorrow. So how is that my business? I mean, how is that my problem? Look, Carol, I've been taking care of your your children for some time now. And I think I've done enough. I have really, really tried. So if they want to chase them away from school, they should chase them away now. Eh? There's enough space in the house here. They can come and play in the, one of the rooms up there, or they can go and learn a trade. I mean, I see their mates on the streets every day selling granola and things. So they should join them. See, listen, if what my mom said to you is hurting you this much, then you should reconsider your stand in adopting a baby. Please, 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 if you don't have anything good to say, please, for the love of God, just leave me alone, please. You see, that's the problem, all right? You want to treat this problem like, like it's yours alone. I've, I've not seen anything wrong in adopting a baby. What there is! There's something wrong, okay? And I will not allow you pressure me then into Then do whatever you want to do. Go ahead and do what you want to do. You look like you're the only one that's in this nonsense. No, let you pressure me. I want my own child. God, I want my own child. School fees?
The kids were sent home from school today because of school fees. Wow. That's all you can say. Wow. He had you. And that's all he can say. You decided to give these children, those your girls, decided to give them life against our wishes. My son has been taking care of them right from bed. So my dear young lady, it is now your responsibility to take care of those your girls. You know me? My mother's fine. If it has come down to this, that's okay. I'm capable of taking care of my children. My darling husband, since this is what the case is now, I have to get a job so I can earn money and take care of my, my children, our children. Now that it is my responsibility to do that, I would like to get a job. My, uh, my darling wife, as I've told you before, time and time and time again, and I'll add it one more time. You're not working. Not in this house or in this marriage. Hmm? So how am I supposed to take care of the girls? We should have thought about it before, um, you know, going to have those, um, those uh, girls. Hmm? Your Adam and T did not listen to us. Not my problem. Oh. Mm, please, um, do you have small salt? Eh? You need to sprinkle on this thing. It's tasteless. Very tasteless food. By the way, why is it that any time one settles down to eat, you come up with some stupid talk or the other? Take back your tasteless food. I'm no longer eating. Never say never. Do you understand this madness? I don't get what, what, what has come over this, this, this man. You know what, if he's not going to train your kids, I'm going to pay for their fees. Yes, I'll give you money, pay for their fees, get them anything you want to get for them. You need to send me your account details so I can do a transfer. Thank you. Chidi, thank you. Thank you. I don't, I don't know how else to show my appreciation. But I don't even know why you are this kind to me. I don't, I don't know how you can be the exact opposite of your brother, but... It's alright, it's alright, Kelly. You don't have to cry. <laughs> you know, sometimes God blesses people and they don't even recognize it. That's how unfair this life is. Chidi, I believe that God will answer your prayers. His d delays are not denials. He will, act, he will come through for you. I believe that. I mean, you're a kind man. Amen. You're an amazing person, so why won't he answer? His timing is always right. Sorry, right, just send me the account number. Oh, just call it out so I can do the transfer now. Uh, okay, um, 011. 011. 066. Yes. And clearly, 
You do not know the kind of thing. Tell me, don't have the kind of thing. If I will do it what or not, what if I will not test you and your kids will do a shit. For what? For what? For what? All I'm trying to do is get them a decent education. You think that should be your responsibility as a father? Walk, you will not let me walk. I tell them if you get a job, you say no. I go and beg your own brother, you say no. What do you want me to do? Sit down and, 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 and watch my children become illiterate. I will show you that there's so many, there's so many ways to skin a rat. You want, you want to do this with me, Abby? No problem. I will show you. No problem. Mom, that's why you paid our school fees. And why are you taking us to school? Mom, I don't want to be disgraced today. Listen, do you think mommy would want to see you get disgraced? No, Mom. Don't oh, worry. I'm paying your school fees today. Really? Did Dad give you the money? Listen, whether or not your father... Whether your father gives me money or not, I will pay your school fees. I will move heaven and earth to make sure that I provide all that you girls need. Everything you deserve. That's how much I love you girls. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Can you get your sister's bag? What's the meaning of this? Why are you drinking Gary in my house? Hmm. Come on, mommy. I've been starving since morning. Your wife says there's no food in the house and that there's no money to buy food. So what do I do? What's the meaning of that? I gave her money some few days ago to stock up the house. You had better go and sort it out with her because this is the last time that I will ever drink Gary in my son's house. Oh, my mercy. Give that to me. I'll, I'll, I'll handle it. No, come on. Tell my mother there was no food in the house. Because I thought I'd give you money some few days ago to stock up the whole house. Oh, that. Sorry. Um, I used the money to pay the children's school fees. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You used the money to do what? You heard me. I paid our children's school fees with the money. As what now? As their mother. Food from. Grandma said there's no food in the house. Do you think mommy would watch her princess's stuff? Hmm? Just eat, please. Eat your food, okay? Mom, yeah. did you use the feeding money to pay our fees? What does it matter? Your fees have been paid. You have food to eat. That's all I want you to worry about. As for this battle, I will make sure that you girls do not lack anything. Thank you, Mom. Thank, Thank you, Mom. Mom. Even if you're... <sighs> Mommy will do anything for her girls, okay?
Yeah, so what is it? Is everything okay? Mm. I accept. You accept what? The adoption. Oh. Are you serious? Do I have a choice? Come on, you don't have to make it sound that way, please. Well, my case is bad as it is. What else could go wrong? See, baby, I... I promise you, right? We're in this together. And I'm gonna be with you to the very end. Okay? It's okay. It's alright. Put in here. And put E put E in each. Can I have my baby back? Take I'll go and get mine. Seen anything? It's nothing. I'm just worried. About what? About the way Dad has been treating us and Mom in this house. It's so not fair. But what can we do? I think we should go talk to him. He's our father after all, and we've never spoken to him before. That's my fear. Will he even listen to us? Remember, he warned us never to come to his presence again. He's gonna shout at us. That's what we all think. But we can only be sure if we try. Make sure that's the right thing. Let's tell Mom fast. She'll never agree. She's done everything for us. I think it's time we do something for her. Adoption. Huh? I, I, I thought you said you are a man. Oh no, a real man. Because you know, it's not just enough to have a, you know, and you now call yourself a, a man. Huh? So, you have a wife, a woman by your side, and you cannot get her pregnant. It's not resulting to training somebody else's child. No. Okay, mom. I mean, what do you expect from two empty heads? You want to go and adopt? You want to go and adopt? You don't even know if that child that you adopted, if he's a, 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 a child of a, 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 a prostitute, an armed robber, or even a mad woman. You want to go and adopt? Don't bring cuss into our family. Mama. Don't bring cuss into our family. Mama, you tell me. This is totally unnecessary. They only came here to share this good news. And instead of encouraging them, we're here discouraging them. It's not nice. Lenoya, am I surprised? Of course I'm not. I mean, what do I expect from another empty head? So you're supporting this madness that they should go and adopt. Eh? Chidi. Chidi. Well, Mama, if you don't agree to this, please. By all means, can you come and have children for your son? Because I'm tired of all this drama. I'm tired. Damn it, children. Let me get. You can't even give my child, even, 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 even a small little baby. You want to go and adopt? You know me, Mom. Um, I don't think there's any need for anybody to worry. Uh, we're not. Uh, we're not worried. Thank you. Um, we just thought that we should come and tell you guys what we have decided to do. Eh? It's not as though we are seeking your permission, and um, we've succeeded in doing that. Chidi! Thank you, sweetheart. Let's go. Chidi! 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 <laughs> know what you're doing, though. Know what you're doing. Don't go and bring cause into our family, though. You can. Oh, you better come to your brother. There is no... This one, it's not going to be bad. It doesn't mean you want to go and If she cannot give you the child, let's go and another one. No, it's possible that it's even a doctor. Yeah. Oh. 
What are you doing here? Huh? I thought I told you, never come down to the parlor when I am here. Sorry, Dad. Shut up. Now, let me tell you girls something. I am not your father. I cannot be a father to maggots. Now, go and tell your mother. Ask her to tell you who your real father is. Now, get out. Dad. Get out! I went out with. Oh, the car. I, I didn't come back with it. So where is it? I sold it. about you selling my car. Oh, she has told you. Eh? Will you answer my question after asking me foolish questions? Okay. The children's clothes were worn out. They needed new clothes. So I had to buy them. I don't understand. I had to buy them new clothes now. Carol, you said you sold my car because your daughter's clothes were worn out. Okay, but what did you want me to do? want me to do? I said let me work. You say no. I even went as far as asking for help. Still, that got you upset. I had to use what I have to get what I want. I am going to give you 30 minutes to go and get the car for me. Or else. Or else what? Eh? Okay. Or else what? Listen, I am a mother. And I will take care of my children any way I know how. If you don't want to be a responsible father, that's fine. I can cover up for you. But as per this your car, my husband, on a go. I don't know where you want me to get it back from. My car is gone. Yes, your car is gone. And if my children lack any, any other thing in this house, I will keep selling. I will sell. I will even sell this house. What to me, if, if I have that to. That you're telling me my car has gone. Huh? Your car is gone. What is this? 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 is what you want to do, Abby. Come and eat. You will eat today. You will eat today. I will sell. Thank <laughs> you. 
Too hot to handle. Can you imagine? Eh? You're becoming too calm. You're becoming, this is someone like you. You have to teach that girl a lesson, lesson of her life. Carol almost burnt my clothes. My clothes? Huh? Because of those tiny demons that she calls her daughters. Man, this is not the Carol I know. Hmm. Carol has changed completely. The, 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 the Carol I know would never go against me, talk more of burn my clothes. <laughs> it's almost as if, as if I'm, I'm living with another man in my house. This is the real Carol that you married. This is your real wife. Don't you know that all this wife that she has been pretending? Eh, now, now she has brought out her true color. Okay, Mama, I, I, I must do something fast. Because if I don't do something fast, I will become a stranger in my house. Mama, men, that one will not happen. You're the boss no of the house. Happen. You are the boss. No you way. have to show her that you're the boss. You teach her a lesson. Useless girl. Carol, of yesterday. Sit down. This is your father's house. So you have the right to eat at the table. Sit and eat. Eat your food. Carol. Mm -hmm. I'm very sure you know. And they know. That your presence irritates me. Why? Then you should leave. What? Yes, Mama. If their presence here irritates you or you have a problem seeing them, then you should leave because clearly you're the one with the problem, not them. Ha -ha. They have avoided you all their lives, but I say no more. Hmm. If you have a problem seeing these kids here, then my darling, grab your teacup, take your saucer, get bread and go and find somewhere else to eat. So they're going to stay there? Yes, they are like staying here. Know. Yes, they are staying here. In my house. It's their father's house. It's. Eat your food. Eat, 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 eat. Mom is here. Nothing is happening to you. Huh? Can I teach in school? 
Hey, now. It's from there. Oh, no. I like that. Well, I like her too, but she's like. Hey, Lisa, welcome to um, your new room. This is uh, the dining table. I have so many rooms upstairs. That's the mini parlor. Okay. Yeah. Yes. What is this? What is the meaning of this? Who is she? And what do you mean by this is your new home? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, my manners. <laughs> um, this is Sophia. She's my wife to be. Oh. <laughs> yes. She's your what? Okay, let me make myself audible enough. This is Sophia. She is my wife to be. And she's also expecting my son in her belly, her stomach. So here is my soon to be wife. Oh, me panaya. Tell Dima. Do Dima. Nemo. Manka, Manka. It's not Dima. You're pregnant. Yes, it's the boy. So you're going to give us some boy. Hey, mama. Oh, okay. Um, so can you tell me what is wrong with me? Well, here you go. Have it. Take a look at it. I don't, I don't understand. This says six weeks pregnant? Well, it's a miracle. You are six weeks pregnant. Congratulations, madam. Huh? Wow! Okay, so I know you went to the doctor. Calm down and tell me what, what did he say? According to the doctor. Okay. Me. Yeah. Nina Chidi Obonu. Tell me about is it. about to become a mother. Are you serious? man that I am. 
and the owner of this house where you and your children live in. I can do whatever I want, however I want. You have embarrassed me. You have embarrassed me. You have disgraced me. You have embarrassed me enough. And I won't take it anymore. I will not take it. I will not share my home with your mistress. I will not. If you don't want to stay, you can live with your children. Do you understand me? <laughs> wow. That's your plan, right? get me to leave my home for another woman for another woman to take over okay man would not grant you the satisfaction you hear me if your plan is to deny me what my children and I are entitled to then my darling you have failed you have failed because I won't leave. This is my home and I will stay here. She met me here. Be careful on Ken, this thing that you're doing, be careful. Because you are creating a monster, be careful. The day this monster will rise up and eat you up, you can be careful. You should be ashamed of yourself. You have been in this house for how many years and you cannot give me a boy? Now she's about to give me a boy and you can't let me nonsense! to greet you. So you have to touch me to make that happen? By the way, have you cleaned up the dishes? No. No? So what are you doing here? My friend, would you go inside and clean up that place? But mommy, please, I'm late for school. I have to go now. Ta! When I come back, I'll clean it. Shut up! When I come back, I'll clean it. Look, before I open my eyes and close it, Tracy, I want to see you in there cleaning that place nicely. Oh yeah? Did you hear what I said? Eh? Good morning, ma'am. Why are you telling me to make a prayer? Do you want me to ask? Mama, good morning. Hey, Nemo. How are you? I'm fine, Papa. Now for a Sit down. Where's my... Yeah. Caro. Mm -hmm. Where is Sophia's uh, tea? Hmm? Sophia? Who? Oh. Sophia, of course. Uh, well, Mama, I didn't open my door to anyone by that name. So I don't have any family member or friend or guest that goes by the name Sophia. How dare you talk to me in that manner? You're evil. You mean you did not make tea for your husband's guests? Mama, you just said it. My husband's guests. So, my husband should come down and look after his guests. Do not mistake my, 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 my simplicity for, for stupidity. I'm a good woman. I, I, I even allowed her a seat at my table, but to make a cup of tea for her, I will not do that. This is unfair. Mama, this is unfair. <laughs> is this how you would treat your husband's fiancée? You know, if we were to look at it from that point of view, I wouldn't be offering you a seat at my table. 
rather I would be bathing you with hot water. Not offering you tea. But they say you are pregnant, so that's fine. I am too good a woman to hurt an innocent child. But please, Sophie or Sophia, stay in your lane. I beg you in the name of God, stay in your lane and cautiously avoid mine. If you want a cup of tea, I'm sure you know where the kitchen is. Fix yourself with that tea and leave me to my peace. Don't mind her, she's a witch. Mama, did you hear It's okay. Her? She's, she's evil, don't mind her. Eh? I want to kill Come my on. baby. You can have mine. My son. It's okay, it's okay. Have my brother. You're get evil. You're wicked. It's okay, don't get yourself worked up, eh? For the sake of the baby, don't get yourself worked up. Hey. Is it too hot? Hey, Mama, it's hot. You can imagine, she made very hot tea. Mom, why did Dad bring another woman to the house? That's because she's a bad person. Eh, eh, eh. Don't say that. Don't say anything like that, okay? Your father is not a bad person, he's a good man. But then... He just doesn't think right sometimes. Dad said she's pregnant. What if she gives birth to a baby boy? Does that mean we have to leave the house? Listen, it doesn't matter what she gives birth to. Okay, that will not affect us. You know why? Because your mother is here. And I will make sure that nobody denies you your rights in this house. Hmm? If I have to go the legal way, I will. Mom, what yes? do you say? Don't worry. Um, radius equals 14 centimeter, right? So the circumference is to just try and. girl like this now what's the problem what has she done innocent this this girl has become very lazy so lazy that she can't do anything right in this house nothing such a waste hey hey hey, hey. listen elena i don't know what she has done to her and this this nonsense that you're doing but she's a little girl don't, don't, don't be too harsh on her what's that oh so i see so now i'm doing bad by trying to discipline this child eh? eh? i'm doing bad abby no problem it's not your fault it's not your fault. Excuse me. Get up, it's okay. Get up, it's okay. It's okay. This is strange. I, I, I don't even understand. What informed this sudden change? I don't know. It's just the mood swings that come with pregnancy. Well, maybe, but but I'm concerned. Why is it all channels to Tracy? My point exactly. I mean, that girl has suffered already. She has suffered so badly. <sighs> it's okay. I'll speak to Elena. Hmm? I'm sure she'll come around. I just hope you change. I mean, these days I can't even. I'm scared to leave the house, not knowing what I'll need when I come back. It's well. Things will sort itself out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. For nothing. Your wife just insulted me. She practically told me that this is a house and I have no rights in this house. She said that I am a guest in this house. That's why I'm living in the guest room. Why she is living in here with you. Sophia, are, are you sure she said all this? She said all this and more. That's why I've come to tell you that I want to move into this room with you so she can move out. Sophia, look, it's not as easy as it sounds. You know, it takes some time. You're not going to do it. Okay, watch me leave your house. Oh, Sophia. I'll look into it. Okay? You better do. Yeah. I'll, I'll take care of the situation. Mm. 
do something about it. Something about it. Okay. Once upon a time, there was Lig the King, who had 12 beautiful daughters, but not as beautiful as my princesses. All the princesses slept in one room at... I can see that you're beginning to brag about this house like it's your own. What has your little witch told you this time? Hmm? Well, I'm here to gossip with you. I just came to tell you to pack your things and move out of our room. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's actually my room. Okay. I need to create space for someone more deserving. Not someone that would give birth to little chihuahuas. You can only run around the house. But dad... Shut up your female mouth. And don't speak when I'm speaking. Ever. Again. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Listen, Nikem. I really don't have a problem moving out of your room. You know why? Because it's useless me being there anyway. Since all I do there is sleep. I might as well move in with my girls and sleep here, so it's fine. I'll leave. Do you want to know what I think? I really don't care about your opinion. It's insignificant. Just like your kids. Pack your things and leave, okay? I will move in then. But don't you think that I would someday leave this house for someone else? Because that day will never come! So, Mom, that... That is what has been happening to me in my husband's house. So, this is what you've been going through. You're stronger than I thought. You know what? This is your home. You're not going to let Nkem and his new one drive you out of it. You're going to stay and fight. All right? You're not going to let him drive you and the children out on the street. Your mom, living with Nkem and his mother all these years, has made me develop a thick skin. I'm a fighter. Mom, I will fight. I will see to the end of this. I am so proud. You're my daughter. Hmm? I am so proud to be your mother. Hmm? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Okay. It's okay. It's fine. Say that, okay? Mommy can send you away. You, you're not going anywhere, all right? You know why? Because this is your house, okay? Right. Please calm down, okay? Hmm? You know I love you. Hmm? Nobody is taking you away from me. <laughs> this is your house, okay? All right, so I can get you pizza right now. I could even take you to Disneyland if you want to. Come on, smile for me. Hmm? Smile for me. <laughs> That's my girl, it's okay. 
It's all right. All right, get up, let's go. Babes? Mm. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Don't you think it's uh it's about time we go to the hospital and run a scan? What for? Oh well we need to to uh, determine the sex of the the baby in your womb. <laughs> It's you that puts it there, so she knows it's a boy. <laughs> I know, I know. It's me that put it in, so I know what I put inside. But, uh, you know, it's also very important that we know exactly what is inside your stomach. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I know he's a boy. I have all the signs that shows that he's a boy. So I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm not going for any scan and that's final. Back to where she came from. I don't. I don't understand. Mm hmm. I sent her away. You sent Tracy away? Mm hmm. Jabi, I've been begging you for months, and you refused. So I sent her away. Huh? Listen, if anything happens to Tracy, I'm gonna hold you responsible. You better go find her. Did you see a little girl? Yeah, she, she she's light skinned. She has a full hair. Yeah, please, yeah, yeah. I think I saw her. You did? Yeah. Where? Yeah, Where? Yeah, please, please Down tell me. There, by your left. You see her there. Are you Just saying right or yeah, left? Yeah. That's left. 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 Yeah, okay. Left. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Mr. Chidi. It was a stillbirth.
daughter-in-law who give us a bouncing baby boy and I've been begging that stupid carol for over 10 years just she has give given me us the a good baby news boy. let me yeah. condemn to my mother mm -hmm. mother and the child See. fantastic Kenichi. fantastic Do you know what I am going to name that boy Kenichi just because it came through you hey. hmm? that means thank you God in fact we are going to buy a car for her you let so that the whole time we know that she has given it to our son she deserves it <laughs> hey, <let's go. laughs> mama <laughs> come I don't know where you got your information from, but Sophia gave birth to a baby girl. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Kirichi, go inside and check again and come out with the right results. <laughs> because I am very, very sure that what she gave birth to was a boy. <laughs> so don't even say anything. Just go inside there and come out with the right results. Sophia gave birth to a boy because I know that put in there was a boy. Eh? <laughs> I'm very sure you're joking. She gave birth to a bouncing baby girl. Congrats. Hey! How? Oh, can you see Gerald? You can move on. You can <laughs> we lost the baby. <laughs> I lost my only child even before I got to meet him. <laughs> Feel good now. You've robbed me of your bad luck. If by bad luck you mean your child, then that's a horrible thing for a mother to say. Mm, I know you're here to mock me, but never mind. I feel mocked already, so you can leave. Sophia, I'm not here to mock you. But if my presence upsets you, then I understand. I'll leave. I brought you hot water and some pepper soup. See you when you get home. Go, 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 come back. Come on, carry your rubbish. I don't need them.
the way that they have stopped distributing boys from wherever they give the children from them. Okay. Just girls, 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 girls. What will I do with a girl child in my life? I don't know why God should punish us by giving us just girls. Why? Mm -hmm. what, what have you done? Hey? Maybe I, I, I need to change the days that I'm trying to. So, yeah. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? So, you abandoned us at the hospital. So, after I have suffered to put in a boy inside your womb, you went to the hospital and came up with a gear. Eh? Okay, let me make it easy for you. You will go inside the room now and you will pack your things and leave my house. Never to return. You lie. You came, you lie. I'm not going anywhere. I lie. I'm not going anywhere, you came. Think I'm, joking, I'm yeah. not going anywhere. does this to me and goes free. You hate my child, don't you? Fine. This baby will be your downfall. This I promise you. I promise you. Here. I did not do anything. Mr. Ike Mibuna, you are under arrest for domestic violence and murder. Anything you say now is going to be used against you in the court of law. You have right to your lawyer. Can you get the station? I swear. I killed my daughter! Okay. Even though you hate her so much, you don't have to kill her to prove her point. No. What is happening to you? What? Who did this to you? <laughs> Mama, I did not do this. Mama, I swear to God, I did not kill anybody. I, I, I did not do anything, Mama. I know, I know, I believe you. It is all a setup, Mama. I know, I know. You're my son. I brought you up very well. You're not capable of killing a soul, of hurting anyone. I know you didn't do it. I believe you're my son, I do. <sighs> we brought a snake into our house and now she's destroying us. Sophia will pay for this. <sighs> I swear to you, Sophia will pay for this, Mama. It's okay, it's okay. I know. 
Let's look for a way to get out of this place. Everything is working against you. Everything is working against you, my son. Hey! I'm scared, Sophia. Mama. Hey. Mama, Mama, I'm scared. Don't be scared, my son. It's okay. It's okay, Mom. It's okay. My friend, this child is supposed to be my meal ticket to success, to wealth. But since she has decided to come to this worthy girl, I can't allow her to mess things up for me. They say, desperate times calls for desperate measure. She's more useful to me dead than alive. Let's watch out and see how all these dramas unfold. How are you? You can see for yourself. How do I look? It is well. I never expected to see you here. I'm not like you. Respective of everything, you're still my husband and the father of my children. How are they? Who? The girls. They're fine. Send their regards. Do you think about? Do you think he did it? Does it matter? Why? Because you're my wife. And what you think matters a lot to me. What do you want me to say? I think I killed that innocent child. Okay. You can be a lot of things. But you are not a murderer. But I don't think you are a murderer. means a lot to me. What kind of trouble do you think he deserves it? In fact, he deserves more than he's already getting. He needs to suffer for all the things he did to us and mom. I agree with you. I just wish we could live as a happy family. But that won't happen without going to prison. Wishing for a happy family is like asking for too much. I prefer mom alone. Yes, she's brought mom and dad to us. She's everything we need. You have a point there. Please, girls, I'm hungry. Let's just go and eat. And let's just forget about that for now. <sighs> Hello, daddy. I missed you. 
I missed you too, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. Anta has been taking good care of me. <laughs> I trust you would. So, Daddy, how is Mommy? Um, mommy is fine. <laughs> so, how has she been coping with her, with the death of her child? Um, she's fine. She will be fine. But there's um, something very important I would want to discuss with you. What is it? Would you want to go back home with me? Do you want the truth? Yes, I want the truth, but I will not pressure you. I'm just staying here. I'm happy. I'm fine staying here. I don't want to go back. I don't like seeing mommy angry with me whenever she sees me. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. So, I got something for you. Um, it's in the car. Do you want to join me now? Mm, yes. Alright, let's go. <laughs> <sighs> I asked somebody to call grandma so she can come have dinner. Yes, we did, mommy, but she refused to eat. She's just in her room looking sad. Well, I guess that arrest is affecting her. It's okay, just eat your food, I'll deal with that. I hope you like it. Yes, mom. Thank you, mommy. It's delicious. Starving yourself will not do you any good or your son. You need to be strong for him. And you also need your energy, all the energy you can get to withstand whatever comes out of this case. So you have to eat. You've gotten what you always wanted, isn't it? I don't understand. You finally sent my son to jail by your inability to give us a male child. I'm sorry, but what is the connection? How am I the problem? Hmm? If he had given your husband a male child, he wouldn't have had the cause to go and bring that demon home. Blame it on your son. Because there's so many women out there. Why did he choose that particular one? Why? Oh, it's pointless. It's pointless. It's always been difficult trying to reason with you. I mean, with, with everything that's happening, with, with all the problems that we are facing, that you are facing, somehow you still find a way to blame every other person but yourself. God. It's fine. Keep blaming. Blame on. But before you know what is going on, your son will be behind bars. God forbid. Your food is there. You know, I'm not interested. Come and carry your food. Come and carry your food. I'm more interested. I want my, my son to be behind bars.
What am I supposed to do? I know you didn't murder that child. But you've hurt us too much to get involved in your troubles. You brought this upon yourself. So pay the price for your stupidity and wickedness. As much as I want to help you, I'll stay away from this completely. I wish you all the best, okay? What do you mean you're not interested? What you, so what? As your wife, I can't talk to you? Is, is, is that what you're trying to tell me? I can't talk to you as Elena, your wife. you're raising your voice at oh, me. Oh, Chidi, Chidi, stop doing this. This is not nice. You're now. raising your voice at me, Elena. I, I, well, I don't intend to raise my voice. Right. You're the one who's getting me all worked it's up fine, over this. Fine. I don't want this to happen it's like fine. this. Why you, you just listen to me now, Chidi? Don't walk out on me. We're still talking. Don't walk out on me, Chidi. Do whatever. Chidi, don't walk out on me. Oh, come on. Don't do this now, Chidi, please. I know I've wronged you, no doubt, but please give me a chance to say something now, please. Chidi, I'm talking to you. I am going to be very honest with you. What you did was so wrong. I mean, that girl was a blessing to you, and, and what did you do? You messed it all up. For what? And you said Chidi is upset. Of course he has to be angry. His anger is very justified. And to think that no one knows where that little girl is. You think that that's not cool? Honestly, Carol, like this whole adoption thing was not my idea. I never wanted to adopt in the first place. I was forced into it. Like, and then when I got pregnant, I just felt like she had no business being in my house. I just want, that's why I sent her away. That's what, but, but now I've, I've learned my lesson. But, but, but I guess it's too late now. It's late. It's not too late. It's never too late. All you have to do is find that girl. Find her. I mean, I'm sure that if you find her and bring her back home, Chidi would be considered. Well, yeah, I guess that's what I have to do. I have to start searching for her yes. immediately. Good. Just try. Okay, we'll find her. Elena did was wrong. I didn't expect that from her. I know. Me too. And I told her. And when she said that she's going to start to search immediately, I just hope that means today. And I sincerely pray that that little girl is fine. Mm. Well, God protects uh, his own. I hope she's fine too. Amen. Uh, meanwhile, what's your plan concerning your husband's case? Mom, honestly, I don't know what to say or do about that one. I know you must have come to a decision. I know you. But this is what I have to say. You have to view everything that comes into your family as a challenge. And the thing to do is to stand by each other. He is still your husband, Mom, regardless of what has happened before. Mom, what are you saying? I'm saying you have to understand that this woman has come into your marriage to destroy it. No, 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 Mom. She did not come into my house. My own husband brought her into my home. Well, that's irrelevant. I'm sure you can see that. The bottom line is that he didn't murder the child. And you believe that as well. So you have to see this as that this woman has come to take away the father of your children. That's how you have to look at it. Mom, Mom are you in any way saying that I should stand by him? After all he's put me through? I am not saying any such thing. All I am saying is that wise people build their homes. And I didn't give birth to a foolish child. Did I?
I lose of you. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, not at all. What's wrong? I'll love to have a word with you. Okay, I'm listening. It's about your husband forthcoming case. What about it? I need you by my side. How do you mean? Do you know what I mean, Carol? I know Mkim has dealt with you not once, not twice. So I want us to come together as women who have been dealt with so we can take out our own pound of flesh. That's actually a good idea. <sighs> I knew you were going to love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything. Can I? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. <sighs> thank you. What else is there to do? What else is there to do when my son has refused to help his only brother? I don't know what to become of my son. I don't know what to become of him. I don't know what to become of him. For the very first time, I am really, really scared for him. I am scared for Kem. Oh, Kem, mom. Nothing will happen to Kem. I believe in Kem will be found. And that can only happen. If you stand by him, my daughter in law, mother of my grandchildren. Will you stand and protect my son? Will you? Emma, Emma, stop, please. Your son is my husband. I, I cannot abandon him at the time when he needs me the most. So, of course, I will stand by him. Yes, I promise. I promise him. I promise you. I promise you. The new one I can protect so my son. time of the day. <laughs> and who would even let you in at this time past 16 hours? I came away, baby. And what is wrong in coming to see the father of my child? Oops, sorry. Late child. You are disgusting. I should have known you were trouble looking for where to happen from the first day I saw you. Tell you something. You will not succeed. I know it's going to stop me. You are in no position to make promises. But you're locked up here. So, Ainsworth, I decide what happens to you. 
Eli, you have no powers to decide that. Aww, we'll see in court. Yeah? We'll see in court, baby. And how will you feel when your family stand against you in court? Tell me, how? My wife is not like you. She would not sit down and watch her husband stay in here and suffer. We will see then. Let's see how much she still loves you after all you did to her. Okay. You are so alone in this. So alone. You are alone! Doctor, please, what is wrong with my wife? Mr. Chidi, your wife will be fine. But judging from the test, she's been under so much stress. And she's not been feeling fine. I don't, I don't, I don't get you. Your wife just put to bed. Well, the child died. And your wife has not fully recovered. But the last thing she needs now is to undergo any stress. Chidi, she needs you now more than ever. Hey, no, 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 just stay back, stay back. Stay back, okay? I am sorry. Please, I, I am so sorry. I, I never thought of what I was doing. I just lost it. Please forgive me. Please give us another chance. The doctor said you need to rest. No, 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 no. I don't need rest. I don't need rest. I need your forgiveness. Please. And I need to find Tracy. Please. Why do you want to find Tracy? So you can hurt her again? No, 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 I will never, I will never do that. And this is a promise, okay? She's my daughter. And I need to treat her as my daughter. It's all right, just, just relax, okay? We're gonna find her. Just relax and rest. Hey, hey, you know, don't do this. If holding you is going to let you cry, then I'll have to let go. No, 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 I won't cry, I won't cry. I won't cry again. I won't cry. I won't cry. I won't cry again. Well, from everything you said, it's obvious the odds are against him. And coupled with the fact that he has a long history of not taking care of his female children, the knowledge of that can have him nailed. I know. Barista, I know this. But that's why I'm talking to you. You need to find a way around it. I mean, I know you. I know your work. And I believe that you can turn this thing around in his favor. Of course. Please. I saw my husband. It's my job. I'll do everything I can okay. to make this happen. But I also need your full cooperation. 
Harris, that you have all the support and cooperation that you need from me. Good. Thank you. Did I just see a lawyer in this house talking about defending your husband? Uh, yeah, and how does that bother you? Of course it bothers me. It's my problem because you're supposed to be on my side. How then did you just go behind me? You're such a betrayer. <laughs> ah, Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. So, wait, let me ask you. So you actually think you thought for a second that I would side with you against Inkem? I am a wife and a mother. You do not expect me to send the father of my children to jail for a crime you and I both know he didn't commit. I... I thought you were wise enough. I made a very big mistake. No, I you thought... are the most foolish woman on earth, to be honest. Now get out of my room. And the next time you want to come in here, you knock and you wait for a response. Else, Sophia, get out. <sighs> Sophia, leave my room. I said leave! that to get out of jail. Why? Because we don't support it. What if we stay there for a while for all the things he has done to us? Girls, come on. There is a plan to send your father to prison and you want the planner to succeed? He is your father. You should stand by him. He has not seen us as his children. Let's talk about this. Hmm? There is something I have to explain to you girls. Hmm? Once upon a time, in a very, very, very beautiful abstract land, they lived in prison. When all this happened, I was expecting my only brother to come running to me. It took you almost two weeks. Two weeks to come and see your brother. Listen, Enka. If you learn to stop taking blames and not always looking for someone to give it to, then you would realize that life doesn't revolve around you. We all warned you about this from the beginning, but you used every opportunity to make me feel stupid for opening my mouth. I want all that is happening right now. You think it's the right time to have some blames? Really? For who's wrong and who's right? Are you serious right now? Who's been doing the counting? You have. And hey, I just follow your lead. So what are you doing here? Oh, really? If my presence here upsets you, I'll just leave. I didn't mean it that way. So. How are you coping with the loss of your son? <laughs> Funny you ask. But as late as your concerns are coming, I'll still answer you. They are fine. That's funny as it may sound. Quite happy you came. I mean, it's refreshing to you know that you care. You think it's just a little. The feeling is mutual.
to me of what you just did. As your son arrest affects your sense of reasoning, and it's only a stupid person like you, a shameless woman like you, that wants to remain in the house of a man that she wants to send to jail. He brought me into this house, and he alone can ask me out. But unfortunately, he's not around. And I know you're happy because your plans are working. I'm his mother. I have every power. And let me tell you, I will never sit and allow you send my son to jail. Never. It will not happen. One more thing. As long as you remain in this house, I do not want to see you anywhere around this kitchen. And how are you going to stop me? This kitchen belongs to my daughter-in-law. She has the right to come in here, not an intruder, a stranger like you. Wow! Your daughter-in-law. She's now your daughter-in-law. Some weeks ago, she was just one woman your son just got married to. In order to buy favor, you can call her your daughter-in-law now. Oh my God! Aren't you ashamed? Of course she's my daughter-in-law. At your age and this stage, you're so unstable. But she she's my daughter-in-law. Carol Wumuyemwam. She alone has the right to come in here and she's so much of a woman for you. Ah, uh, and how did you allow your son to bring me into this house in the first place? Eh, that was the stupid part of me. And we all make mistakes. But good thing I now know better. Hmm? The same way you were brought into this house, that same way you'll be kicked out. Okay, now me, I'm not fair. Shut up. Get out. Go. Shut up. Get out. Officer, please. We've been waiting for a while. Is he still coming? Please, calm down. I'm still here with you. Okay, thank you. I, I know I have been a terrible father to all of you. But you girls are still my children. You've never treated us that way. Sorry if, if we don't believe you. You, you, you have every, every right to be angry. All of you. But Chinazo. I'm not Chinazo, I'm Chidima. You see? He can't even tell the difference and you expect us to be happy. What a father. Kidima, stop that. He's still your father. I, I really cannot differentiate from who is who. You give me a chance. I, I, I want to be a better father for you. And if possible, a good husband. I, I'm probably the worst father in the history of the world. I'm deeply sorry. See you enjoying your snack. Yes, tasty. <laughs> but um, I have another surprise for you. Mm, what's that? I did not get a snack. Really? Who? Oh. I 
I did. Hey. Hey, come on, Tracy. I I am not here to hurt you, okay? I come in peace. Okay? I never knew it would take it out on my innocent child. My innocent child. He has always wanted a male child. Which was why he came to me. His wife and three daughters has always been seen as nuisance in the house. So when my daughter came, <laughs> he decided to take her life since he's not married to me and she's the only reason why I'm still in the house. He took her life just to get me out of the house. <laughs> My husband has always been a loving and caring man. The only mistake he made was sleeping with her and she pinned him with the pregnancy, which he accepted. <clears throat> if that was the case, Miss Carol, then how comes your husband abandoned you in the hospital just because you give birth to a baby girl? How come your daughters were sent away from school for fees, even when their father is a known millionaire? My husband is not a murderer. He may be in search of a male child, but that doesn't mean he would kill a female one. Madam, in your marriage, was there a time your husband asked you to abort a pregnancy because he find out it's a female child? No. Don't forget, you are on the oath. He has never asked me to do anything of the sort. Your Lordship, that will be all for now. This court is adjourned to 28th of May 2018 for final hearing. Try all you want, Carol. Victory is mine. I will watch and kill rot and jail, like I promise. Do not celebrate yet, Sophia. There's more coming. Nkem is my husband. And I promise to bring him back home when this case is over. And I dare you to try to stop me. I will destroy you. Wow. <laughs> Let's watch and see this unfold. Okay. Let me tell you. You may have lied to the courts, but that's not enough reason to consider him innocent. I promise you, he's going to rot in jail. Let's watch and see. Not for long, Sophie. Not for long. Okay. You rot in jail. I promise you. Mama. Mama, 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 I'll not take this from you. Mama, I'll not take this from you. You're leaving this house. What's it? Mama, what's this? Your things, you're leaving this house. What is this? You slap her? 
She is like my mother. So you must resolve my mother too. Mwa, before I possibly remove you, leave this house. You are not spending one more night in this house. Sophia, leave. So you are taking side with this woman? You are taking side with this woman? Why would I? I'm not going anywhere. This woman I'm is not, like my I'm mother. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Wait, wait. Mama, Mama, don't my clothes. Oh. Sophia. 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 No, no, Sophia. This clothes. You never know, I will not put my clothes inside my door. I will not put my clothes inside this desk inside my door. Mama, Mama, I will not take this from you. I will not take clothes. I will not What's wrong? Why are you not asleep? Mom, I really need to talk to you about something. Okay. Okay, what's the matter? Mom, you know the day after Dad was arrested by the police, I overheard Auntie Sophia on the phone with her friend. Hmm. My friend. This child is supposed to be my meal ticket to success, to wealth. But since she has decided to come to this worthy girl, I can't allow her to mess things up for me. They say desperate times calls for desperate measure. She's more useful to me dead than alive. Let's watch out and see how all these dramas unfold. Are you sure about this? Yes, Mom. Wow. This is serious. Okay. Okay, not to worry. I will talk to the lawyer about it and see what she can make from it. Hmm? Go back to bed. Please, Mom, can I stay with you? If what your daughter heard is the truth, mm. then it simply means that Sophia is the actual killer of her child. <laughs> no, Paris, come on. They could just be speculations. How can a mother murder her own child? It makes no sense. Chidima probably heard wrong. Hey! On the contrary, it makes perfect sense. Okay, look at it this way. She wanted to use the child to make money. But then the sex becomes an issue. And again wants her out. Now that's enough motive to want to kill her child and frame and camp for it. Not everybody is as kind-hearted as you are. Some people are pure evil. Daughter. Oh, yeah, go and try it on. I hope you like them all. <laughs> I will, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Oh, you're welcome, honey. <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy. Hey, babe. Hey. What a day. Yeah. Thank you very much for all the gifts you got for Tracy. I'm just hoping that you won't change. Oh, come on. Have some faith in me. You see, I have realized my mistakes and she is my daughter. I don't want to be that terrible person that I was and I don't want to ever see you angry at me like that again. Never. <laughs> I don't want you to love her because I want you to. I want you to love her because you feel that way. Oh, come on. See, you may not believe it, hmm? but I do feel it. I do. Honestly, honestly, I do. And seeing her happy just somehow takes my sorrows away. It does. Are you sure? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> See, I'm just so tired. I think mm. I'll just shower and sleep. No, wait. Let me give you a good buddy massage. Okay. I'm serious. <laughs> Put your hands like this. Wait, just, just hold on. God, I have never asked you for anything. But please do not look at my sins, but on the faith I have in you. If you help me out of this one, I promise to take care of my family. The family that you have given me. I promise to cherish and love them. My life depends on it. This is a promise I am making to you. Do not let me down. Something really nice for dinner. Hmm? You did what? Yeah. Why? It, what, what's the occasion? Ha, Carol, do I need an occasion to to cook for for my family? I, no, no, no. I was just uh, asking. Okay, people, all of you, sit down. Sit down. Let's have dinner. Hmm? You will enjoy it. Sit down. Sit down, everybody. Come, sweetheart. Yeah, come. Come this way. Come. Yes, pray. Pray. So he's praying for us. <laughs> um, uh... So, uh, you've become quite a frequent visitor around here. Are you losing faith already? Not at all. I just felt I should give you a chance to save yourself. That's very... Very generous of you. So if I may ask, what is this chance you propose? You give me 50% of everything you own, and I'll help you. Help you escape you. So I'm supposed to just believe everything you say just like that? <laughs> wow. How nice of you. But no deal. You see, I would rather go to jail and give everything I own to my family 
Don't give a dime of what I have to you. I don't make deals with uh, snakes. You're a snake. Well, since you prefer jail, I will help you enjoy it. Rubbish. Okay. You don't need these tears. Tomorrow is the final hearing and you, you need to be strong and have faith. You know that my fate will be decided tomorrow. Either I am free or I am locked up for years. I know. I know. I know. I know. But I have faith. I have faith that you will come out of this in one piece. So you need to be strong. You need to be strong with me. Don't. Yes, I wish I, wish, I wish I could be strong. I wish I, wish I could be strong. You want me to, but I can't be strong. I'm scared. I'm scared. I know, my love. I know. It's okay to be scared. Okay. It's okay. But you cannot let it overpower you. Look at me. Tomorrow will be a good day. Huh? I have faith. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the you don't do well, I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you. Miss Sophia. Sophia Agro. Oh. You said you called the police immediately you found your daughter dead. Yes. But looking at the time you called the police and the time they arrived, and Kem was still holding the mother weapon because it took the police about. 45 minutes to get to the house. Whereas, this autopsy result shows that your daughter died 15 minutes before the police arrived. How come? I don't understand. What are you talking about? Miss Sophia. You called the police. And they came 45 minutes later. Meanwhile, in that report, it says your daughter died 15 minutes before the police arrived. It simply means that your daughter was still alive when you called the police. Because that is why Nkem was still holding the mother weapon when they came. Are you accusing me of killing my daughter? Did you? Of course not. Then explain to this honorable court the huge gap between when you called the police and when your daughter actually died. Your Honor, that will be all for this witness. May I proceed to invite the children of the accused to the witness stand, please? Go ahead. Okay. And where exactly were you? I was with my sisters in the room. What are the names of your sisters? Shidera and Shinazo. 
Thank you. Little girl, what is your name? Chinazo. Chinazo. Chinazo, how old are you? I'm nine. Nine years. Okay. Chinazo, can you calculatively tell me what it means when they say family crisis? Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. Thank you, Your Honor. That will be all for now. The court will go on 20 minutes break, after which I will give my judgment. As a lot she pleases. Court! How dare you? How dare you call me that? Coming from a woman who killed her own child? For what? Her selfish gains? You are the disgrace. And I pray that the soul of that innocent child continue to haunt you. And I promise you, even if it's the last thing that I do, I will make sure that you pay. You pay for this crime that you have committed. How did you find out about that? <laughs> Honey, there is nothing hidden under the sun. Admit it. You killed your own child and set my husband up for it. But that's okay. Because I trust that this justice department will not let a woman like you walk away so freely. You have no proof to back that up. She was supposed to be my meal ticket to a good future. But since she decided to come to this world as a woman, what am I supposed to do? Allow her mess things up for me? No. I had to use my sense. I use it well, so I had to do what I did. I killed her. Yes, I did. Thank you. Thank you. Before my judgment, is there anyone who has something to say in respect to this case? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, I have one last evidence to tender. I just hope I'll be given the opportunity. Objection, opposite. my lord. With due respect, this case is over. I do not think if there is need for any evidence. Barrister Faith, I hope this your evidence is relevant to this case. Yes, Your Honor. Good. Back that up. 
She was supposed to be my melt again to a good future. But since she decided to come to this world as a woman, what am I supposed to do? Allow her mess things up for me? No. I had to use my sense. I use it well, so I had to do what I did. I killed her. Yes, I did. With the evidence before this court, I hereby discharge and I'll quit Mr. Nkem Obona of all charges <laughs> and sentence Miss Sophia Ago to 45 years imprisonment <laughs> without parole and with no option of fine for the murder of her child. This is my judgment. What? Glasses. <laughs> Don't drink yet. <laughs> Not as yet. <laughs> okay, so cheers to uh, family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To being there for each other. Mm -hmm. Cheers to our daughters. Ooh. Beautiful daughters. Uh, yes. <laughs> cheers to freedom. <laughs> freedom. <laughs> okay, kids, get involved in this. Get involved. Get involved. Get involved. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alright, um, we can put some music on and get everyone getting. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. 
Why are you this nice to me after everything I passed you and the kids through? After all these years? You are still my husband. And uh, years like you call it. That's all in the past. All that matters now is is here and now. I mean, nothing can go wrong if if you don't allow it. I will never allow anything go wrong. I will stand beside you. And I'll stand behind my daughters always. I love you guys so much. It's, it's, it's so nice to hear you call them your daughters. Because that's exactly what they are. They're my daughters. You are my wife. Can you find a place in your heart to really truly forgive me? Kim, you really hurt me. But you are my husband. I forgive you. I forgive you. I will never take you for granted. I will always love you, my children. Happiness remains forever. Amen. Amen. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. your husband is indeed a changed man. I can see it in his eyes. I thank God, Mom. So now you have to keep working to keep your family together. I still have to work? Of course. A married woman never stops working to make her marriage work and to keep her family together. The moment you decide to get married, you have created a problem you will spend the rest of your life solving. Some problems are lighter than others, but you see marriage, it's constant work. So, but um, I expect even you should know that. But the worst is over, so I know that you're going to succeed. Thanks, Mom. I hear you. But can I just enjoy this peace and happiness, please? While you're enjoying, remember to keep working. OK. 
okay, mom, I'll keep working. <laughs> with this ice cream. Can I have more? If anyone told me that someday that our dad will really be our father, I wouldn't have believed it. For the first time we're eating something given to us by our dad. By our own dad. I just pray he remains the same. And that our mom will be happy. And that's just all I ask for. And that is truly enough for us. Hmm. Now I can proudly say I have a father. We have a father! We have a father. And so tasty. Feels good. Can I have the ice cream? Please don't do this. Pass me one. I'll be right through. Hmm, you have to finish your chicken first. Let me open it up. Bobby. If I didn't know you well, I'd say you're very happy about the development in this house. But your face has a way of giving you up. Mm. My in-law. Yeah. <laughs> you see why I like you so much? <laughs> you should know how to tell when I'm in support of something and when I am not. <sighs> Let's tell ourselves the truth. This house needs a male child and I will not allow my son's freedom to make him get carried away as to stand by your daughter and her girls. Mm. If at your age you're not able to learn from your mistakes, you should at least let your son learn from his. If my daughter and the girls you speak so badly of have not stood by him, he would have been locked up for a long time. Now, tell me something. For all these things the girls have done, is it too much to ask that you give them just a little happy? Hey, they did their own responsibility. Oh. Yes, that was their responsibility. And now my son owes me a responsibility. And he has to fulfill it by giving me a male child. If the son you speak about is the one I see now, then you've got a big shocker coming. <laughs> honey, 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 honey. Guess what? Guess, guess, guess. What's that? Why are you excited? What's guess, that? guess, 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 guess. Why are you excited? Oh what is God. it? God has done it again. Oh, okay. Baby, God has what, done it again. What, what has God done? God has blessed us. <laughs> it's so, positive. Okay, um, wait. What? What is positive? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes, yes, yes. Are you serious? I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Are you for real? Yes. Oh, baby. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my yes, goodness. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and we have Tracy to thank for oh this. God. God. God has used her to bless us again. Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> you know, I I really hope you don't get to change again. No, no, no. See, I am not going to let that happen, okay? Tracy mm. is our first daughter and I'm going to treat her that way. <laughs> You're seriously pregnant? Yes. <laughs> Come on, I love you. <laughs> I think we should get something to celebrate. Wait! Um, uh, what is that? I, I'm still trying to, you know, I'm still... Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. I am I am so grateful. God has used you to bless me. And I am so grateful. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. What did I do, Mom? <laughs> you see, you have given me my joy back. God has used you to bless me again. And I promise you, I promise you, Tracy, this will not be like the last time. I will be the best mother in the world to you. I will love and I will cherish you as I will my own. 
And I'll be the best daughter. No. Oh, <laughs> oh Tracy. <laughs> Oh, God, it's all but a dream. Wow. Enjoyed and carried away by the freedom you now have. You have not made the girls your favorites. Have you forgotten that we still need a male child in this house? Have you? Mama, are we still on this? I, I honestly thought we had passed all of this a long time ago. Mama, look. I have learned my lesson. Those girls are my everything. They mean the world to me. And they're my children too. Despite of how hard and how bad we treated them, they still stood by me throughout my time in court to get freedom. Shouldn't that count for anything? Um, but but uh, you, you've thanked them. What more do they need from you? No, Ma, so you tell me now. So thank you is enough to these children. Huh? Well, let me tell you something. You see those children? They deserve everything. And I love them. I will give them every single thing that they have missed out on in life, both now and in the past. And um, as for your boy that you so desperately want, I'm no longer interested. Yeah. Yes. And just to add, just so that you know, I think I'm the one who's been missing out on a lot for so long. And now I have some catching up to do. You expect me to accept that? Mama, I don't expect you to do anything. Nothing at all. I'm going to just leave you with two options though. One is either you stay here and be happy with us and live in peace and harmony, or you use the door. What? You can't do it. Yes, ma'am. Kill me, me, your mother, to leave your house. Eh? Mama, I cannot ask you to leave my house. I would never ask you to leave my house. But what I'm telling you is I'm giving you two options. Either you stay here with us in peace and harmony, and you would enjoy it. Or you use the door, which leads to the gate, which leads outside. But it's your choice. Okay? <laughs> yes. Come. Come on, this is not you now. What has come over you? Mm -hmm. This is not you now. Mama, I just got wiser, that's all. Huh? Eh? Mama, let me go and play with my children now. When you're ready, you join us. Okay? Alright. <laughs> What is my lovely, beautiful wife doing here with me? 
Hmm? Nothing really. I overheard you in my mouth. <laughs> well, um, don't worry about that, okay? Thank you. For the first time, I'm, I'm genuinely happy to be your wife. Well, um, I'm very happy to have you as my wife. And if there was somebody else, this marriage would have been long dead. But despite all the torture and the pain I've had you through, it keeps the life. I love you. My little chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>